Let's see. Uh, what we learned is that Elma, well, really, no one from Xenoblade X got in. Yeah. Alec could not even get a Pokeball summon. <laughs> yeah. That's there. I think Incineroar was chosen like later than usual for Pokemon standards. Mm. You notice there's no the other Alola starters. They're not Pokeball summons at all. They usually have one of them. <clears throat> yeah. Wondering what happened there. Pro yeah, probably like and oh yeah, last minute. Yeah, Sakurai just basically admitted that Echo Fighters are whatever he wants them to be at any given moment. <laughs> Alright, fair he, enough. He, he pretty much said Ken would probably not be qualified as an Echo Fighter. Probably not be qualified as an Echo Fighter if what? I think he commented on like an Afimitsu article saying that Ken was having the differences that he could possibly be qualified as a, just a unique fighter on his own, but decided to put him on the Echo Fighter. Designation, I guess, because he because he could. Hmm. Sort of. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of what he said. I I mean. Me yeah, I, I mean like um, Ken is basically an echo fire in his own game, so. <laughs> oh gosh, what did he say? How do you feel about the box theory actually being real? Because uh, I'm not sure. Like, that that was kind of disappointing, to be honest. I feel like... Didn't want it, but I deserve it. Mm. <laughs> I should have expected it to be real, but it, it felt so... Like, just having two characters left, not counting Piranha Plant or DLC, uh, just... Uh Final Final Secret really the best <laughs> character in that direct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one time the Smash fan should have actually been has a mystic to a fault, they didn't. Yeah. <clears throat> should have taken Sakurai at his word when he meant not too many newcomers. Yeah. You know, people lend, tend to think that he trolls long term, but he does, usually doesn't. We, yes, true. Sakurai doesn't usually pull off long cons like that. Mm. I think we would. I think people would have been more. I think people have tempered their expectations more if there hadn't been five characters revealed at, at, in August. Yeah, I yeah, because like Sakurai was like, uh, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Actually, how... Hmm? Hmm? What are you saying? Um, three of them were Echoes, but probably should have been drip-fed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, but like, How many... How many uh, newcomers have, do we have, like, including Echoes? Um, before Piranha Plant, we have 11. Okay. That is actually the lowest number of new characters in a Smash game. Yeah, just below the original. I think um, I'm trying to think it's... Uh, if we count uh, Piranha Plant and DLC, that's like... Uh, 17, I think. Yeah, so that would be the base number of newcomers that Smash Bros. and Wii U did before DLC. That's fine, I guess. That is quite fine. Um, I say I'm. Yeah, I think I'm actually a little surprised we just didn't get as many echoes. Mm, yeah, I was expecting a couple more. I guess not. We got like what six, seven, five new ones. Five new ones, and then there's Lucina and uh, Dark Pit, right? So, yeah, so seven. That was very much of like I actually would like to see who was on the short list to be a to be an echo. Mm. <laughs> if, it was, if, it, if that's even how it works, like I wonder who. Yeah, I wonder how Sakurai decided on those. 
get the feeling that outside of maybe Richter and maybe Ken, definitely in Cinderor, I think. Yeah, I think the newcomers were more influenced by the ballad than we all thought. Yeah, yeah, I think it was heavily ballad inspired. Even Day, actually, especially Daisy, probably. I think she had a quiet majority pulling for her. Mm, yeah, I can believe that. I think well, Ouija probably well, Ouija probably did all right in the ballot too. That's probably why people are so pissed. Hmm. A bit too much, but still. Um, let's see. Like I'm trying to go through every character. Inkling was self-explanatory. Was expected to be in. Probably did well when her game actually came out. Yeah, everyone everyone expect was expecting Inkling back with Smash Four DLC. Really. Daisy probably did all right for, probably did all right for the quote unquote peach recolor. So yeah, I think she did well enough that Sakurai took notice. Yeah. Let's see, Ridley self-explanatory. Mhm. I, I do wonder if the battle was like the final push needed. Possibly. I'm in. I guess once they had Konami on board, they could get that company. Yeah. It's an interesting case, I think. I do wonder if Sakurai just really liked Richter. Um, World of Light is just... looking good, but Spirits isn't exactly an MMORPG, and it didn't, need, it didn't need so much explaining. Yeah, they didn't need to spend all that time on that section. That... I know, but... Yeah, he's in the thing. He's um. Yeah, the the um directors had really weird pacing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Yeah, what was I gonna say? Yeah, Simon. Oh yeah, something else I forgot to mention. I think, yeah, I do think that pretty much the fact that we got all the veterans back, I think the ballot played a part in that as well. Probably, yeah. He's like Sakurai seems to be implying, oh, this is what this is what we think players want. And yeah, I think DLC sales for Roy, Lucas, and you two, and then probably there were a lot of people who probably voted in Snake or Ice Climbers or Wolf. Yeah, like, w everyone was, like, really confused as to why Wolf wasn't, uh, added back in. Because he was, like, like, uh, the, o the other characters you can, un you can guess, like, uh, Snake you have, you have to do with Konami, like, Ice Climbers you have the limitations and similar thing with Pokemon Trainer. Uh, but with Wolf, there's, there was, like, no real hindrance to him coming back, so it was, everyone thought it was weird. I think the biggest hindrance for Wolf was the fact that he was a last minute last minute addition to Brawl, so they I guess. had to pretty much rework his model. Mean, I guess. Kind of janky in Brawl. Yeah, it was, it's when you compare it to the other models in the game, he's like really jank. I don't lie though, the weird movement, the weird idle animation kind of gives him a swagger. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It does feel it, it does make him feel a bit unfinished though, because it just looks so weird. Oh Especially... gosh, I don't know why I love last minute characters in fighting games sometimes. They're just. Yeah. See, oh, that's neat. They snuck by. Yeah. I believe J. Pope was almost cut from Brawl. That's. Yeah. That been... I always get surprised. Like, whenever I hear about that, it always like surprises me because of uh, the fact she she's like original 12. I guess. I don't know. I guess. I don't know. I mean, it left us, I mean, it kind of, well, what am I trying to say? We wound up stuck with five Kanto Pokemon in Brawl, which is, <sighs> I am high sorry, but. Yeah, we have a lot of Kanto want... Pokemon. God, really, I don't use her much, but it's, I'd be sad if she left. It wouldn't feel right, yeah. And Ness almost got cut from Brawl 2. Mm. We oh. have to thank Mother 3 not being localized. Uh, and uh, Ness almost got cut from Melee and almost got replaced by Lucas, but um, Mother 3 had, like, development hell issues, so. 
basically, Mother 3 getting delayed and Mother 3 not actually getting localized are the reasons Ness stayed around so long. Yeah, pretty much. Right, I'm okay with this timeline. <laughs> I mean, like, if, um... I, I think... I, I've told you this before, I think, but, like, uh, I've heard Sakurai probably wouldn't have had Lucas in Brawl if he knew about uh, Mother, Mother 3 not getting localized. So that is hilarious. I just yeah, that dodged a bullet there. Like goodness, I just want someone. I just want some Japanese Nintendo employee just to keep on telling him that this game is actually gonna get localized, but it's not. So he keeps sneaking in Japan only characters in. <laughs> I'm going to totally localize this revival of Famicom Detective Club. Put in Ayumi. Oh yeah, I I, I think he wanted um. Uh... Ninja guy, I forgot his name. Like, he's in the Sis Trophy. Um, Takamaru? Takamaru or something like that, yeah. Um, apparently, Sakurai wanted him in, but he, he has, like, no, like, relevance outside of Japan, or, in, like, really in general, as far as I know. Uh, so, just, like, get some random guy to just tell him, oh, man, we're gonna, we're gonna, like, make, make a massive comeback. Um... So they put him in the game. <laughs> if Iwata was a, a craftier or sneakier executive, he could just completely BS'd it. And it was going to do for Sakurai so he could put it in the profit plan. <laughs> yeah. One band can do me now. You can put them in. Oh man, don't play on my heart like that. <laughs> Yes, we are totally gonna bring back Wave Race, putting out character with the jet ski. Hmm. Crash Bandicoot. Yes, we totally got the we totally got Activision on board, put them in. And by the time he already has the model rigged up. It will probably <laughs> just look exactly like Crash Insane's model. By the time he already has the move set and model like laid out. That's it's too late to scrap it to actually go to Activision. Yeah. As a question, though, um, what would Crash's moveset even be? Like, um... Let me discuss this after we did that, after we commentated over that Spiral playthrough, like, two weeks ago. Um, what uh, did I, I, don't, I don't remember. It was 4am, my bad. <laughs> um, I don't even remember watching the Spyro playthrough, what? <laughs> we're recording it post-commentary, because I definitely wasn't there live. Oh, that! Oh, okay, right. Because I would have been hiccuping the whole way. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Um, suggested that he just kind of be like a, like a trapper character, just setting crates down. Oh right, okay. Otherwise, I yeah. Otherwise, I don't know. I'd like trust. I'd put my trust in Sakurai to do something creative. Yeah. I I don't know. Maybe he could. Hmm. He probably yeah, just... definitely has years of games that use as inspiration, like. Yeah, I mean, you can you you can probably ha put the crash free power ups in there somewhere. Yeah, sneaking shoes. I wonder what he's gonna do with that. <laughs> yeah, uh, his dash will just be the crash dash. That's easy. Yeah, someone suggested like making it like uh, excuse me. Someone suggested making Crash a puppet fighter like Rosalina. I could see him doing that with Aku Aku. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Maybe, but he's never really done that. Aku Aku could be a shield, I guess. I can crash the yeah. Titans. Yeah, I can see that happening. Because uh, Yoshi has a unique shield. No, no, alright. Hear, hear me out. Hmm. Crash, but he's a Marv clone. And Aku Aku is his shield. Yeah. Draw some stuff from Link to. Yeah. My final smash is also critical hit. <laughs> he has a counter. Counter. Oh man. Dog just crashes gibberish. Counter. <laughs> Whoa! What well, a final uh, final smash though. That'll be an interesting thing. Like, As I say last time, it was, yeah, get Coco Crunch and Fake Crash, pull out a TNT crate, toss it around like it's monkey in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds very funny. 
or what, what was my answer, Justin? Oh yeah, Crash just the dance, and everyone else has to do the dance. Oh, um, <laughs> and then they they fail and die or something. <laughs> so, or, like you do, you do, like. I don't know, he gets all the crashes from inside his head <laughs> into insanity. Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> of what he could, what he would, what he would do, like quote unquote realistically, uh, like hypothetical. Whatever, um, the only thing I can probably, think of is bazooka, but plus bazooka or something. Maybe he goes into the cortex, but good. Yeah, maybe he goes into the mech from Crash 4 and actually uses the arms. Or if Sakurai completely has smoked a ton of drugs, um, summon like a Ratsicle and wreck <laughs> havoc. <laughs> oh, that would make so, so many people like, just go like crazy. No one in Japan would know what that would, that would be referencing either. Yeah. <clears throat> That'd be pretty like, funny though. the crates from Crash 1 to fall on top of the opponent. <sighs> it's in the game. Yeah. You know, uh, a lot of people, with, like, loads of people saying, like, Crash of the Titans isn't actually that bad. It's giving me, it's kind of, kind of giving me, like, um, a, a thought of wanting to replay it at some point. Because maybe I'll, Maybe I was too harsh. Play with our friends are not suffering so much. Yeah. I think Ever my I think my main issue with it is that it's just it was just way too hard sometimes. I think back like again I played co op pretty much the whole way through so. Yeah. Crash and I didn't think it was extremely difficult for my age. No. Um. Yeah, I'd imagine Thanks. that co-op will make it easier. Subspace Emissary and Crash of Titans is probably best enjoyed with a friend. Yeah, I can, un I can imagine that. I enjoyed Minds Over Mutant. I think I, en I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed that game too. It's completely busted, but... Mm. Almost in an endearing way. Yeah. Like, like actually, that could probably... Um, that could probably do a good, legitimate remake sometime down the line, but mm. probably not happen. Not, yeah, I'm not sure how likely that is. Uh, this is still up. What am I doing with you two? I'm not... I think, if anything, like, uh, I, I, I would be very surprised if Crush Team Racing wasn't the next game they're doing. It's almost 20 years old, oh my gosh. Yeah. I was gonna say, um, <clears throat> hopefully they're just doing a new platformer. I just, I'm ready to. I'm still playing through and same trilogy, getting my the place. Mm. Play the play platformers. How far did you get in, in Crash? Um, on Crash Two now, going through. Got through the first two warp room levels. Surfboard levels. Just. Hmm. Did you? Get, did you? Did you get the gems in Crush One? Yes, I got every gem. Really? Every single gem. All right, how'd that go? Nearly broke my controller trying to get through Stormy Ascent. Nah. Again. Goodness gracious. Have you, have you died at all in Crash 2 yet, or...? Yeah, I'm dying more in Crash 2 than I did when I played it originally on the PS1 a few years back. Oh wow, alright. <laughs> I've, I've been out of... I just don't play games as much as I used to. I'm... Mm. Practice, that's my generous conclusion. Mm. To, all. to be fair, the first time I played Crash 
the insane trilogy versions i i kind of sucked i kind of like trying to get used to uh, how it played again well not again because new physics but <laughs> i'm not looking forward to cold hard crash i can't <sighs> oh man That is a doozy. Oh, yeah, and I still don't understand Ripper's pattern for the boss fight. Like, I mean, it, it's, it's, only... it's always it's the same pattern every time. <laughs> like, is he spelling out a letter R on the battlefield, or is he just going in a random pattern? Oh, like, what is he doing? Going so I don't get vaporized. Mm. Actually, wondering what if we get a new platformer? I do wonder who gets used as a boss because mm. I hope like I I'd like um there to be more warp rooms or whatever they decide to do because um if I, j just having like five and just the one secret warp room is. They're really short nowadays. <clears throat> no, imagine, I, I, think I can't. I just cannot imagine a classic style crashing of like fifty levels. That's. Mm. Imagine ten warp rooms. That's just my brain won't just won't. It's hard to imagine that, but it'll be. I I want something long lasting because like when I go back to replay the crash, the insane trilogy games like. I I'm j I just kind of think to myself like, wow, the there really aren't that many levels in these games. The challenge is trying to survive. <laughs> I guess, I, I, yeah, but like, mm, I don't know. Crash one can be beaten in a few hours, but experience. I I suppose it's more fair enough with the Spyro having limited set of levels just because of how longer they are. <laughs> I'm guessing that's why Nidog introduced the time trials, just to lengthen out the gameplay. Mm. Maybe padding, but... Gave some, re some additional replay value to the levels they had. How are you enjoying this random conversation, uh, Nova? <laughs> Yeah, word in or rarely get a word in. Mm -hmm. Please el el elucidate us, illuminate us. <laughs> oh man. I've been recording this for the past 23 minutes, by the way. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> I was joking, Harry. I thought, why not? I'm not... <laughs> I mean, a reason to play other Crash games beyond the classics is what Noah said. Um. Uh, wait, what? Um, Twin Twin Sanity is is actually really good. Um, I I would I. I would say you can skip Crash 4 because it's pretty unremarkable in the grand scheme of things. Just not skipping it for the last play. Whoa, well, what? You. The play at some time for your channel, Harry. Uh, yeah, at some point, but not now. <laughs> it depends on what you guys want to do after Jungle Beat. It's also a pain, and it's also just a pain to record, like, like older games. I'm honestly surprised it was never re-released, like, through the PS2 classics on PlayStation 3. Mm. Had to do the actual, like, the good version. <laughs> like, what, what, what's your version called? Like, platinum hits, or am I thinking of something platinum, else? Platinum, yeah, something like that. Platinum something. Platinum hits are greatest hits. Sony the best. Um, 
I want to shorten the loading times because that original version is rough. Yeah. Oh, man. You now, it's times like these I do wish platformers would take the fighting game route and actually re release, like, like do full on re releases to fix their stuff. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Have oh. Cortex would be busted and would still probably launch busted if it were released today, but it'd probably be patched. Some of that stuff would probably be patched. Wait, what would be busted? There's something you just couldn't fix in that game without actually going back and redesigning levels. Wait, what would, what would be busted? The Wrath of Cortex launched today. It would oh. probably still have serious issues, but yeah, you can you can it's still with patches, but then yeah, there's some levels that probably would just need to be completely redesigned from the ground up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> if they if they do a Crash Four, they might as well just. If they plan on like doing some kind of remaster or something, like they may as well just re do do like a complete remake, like just make every level new from scratch. I mean, truth be told, Wrath of Court doesn't need a remake more than the original trilogy in some respects. Yeah, yeah. I I I'd be fine with them just doing their own version of Crash 4, so they have some creative liberties. Because I'd imagine they'd be pretty burnt out just doing remake after remake. <clears throat> That's the thing, Every pretty much every series that tries to... to what can I say? That basically tries to recover ground pretty much at some point. Just what? Like, you know, Every franchise that tries to reboot usually hits a wall at some point. They... Yeah. It's very difficult to... Alright, we're gonna go back to the original and then... Then what? You didn't... <laughs> Sometimes yeah, they just don't even yeah. think that far. Yeah. They, they, I, saw, I saw this video um, where they were talking about future tense. And the... And the people were just like... Is there like... Like... Gonna be a new crush or anything? And the, the guy was like super ambiguous. He was just like... We're just talking about future tense right now, so that could, I mean, it, I, it could just mean nothing, but, I mean, maybe something's happening. Maddie posting something. Mm. Like, I don't know, uh, I just, I, I hope they have an actual plan for Crash and Spyro in the future, and not, not just leave it at trilogy remakes. Because I, I, think, I think it would be it would be beneficial in the long run if the next games are just new games entirely instead of just remakes because then it'll probably just end that they'll probably just end up going into remake hell and uh, not really get a new game and I don't know how well that's gonna how long that's gonna last to be honest um yeah I'm I think I'm ready for a new adventure. I'd like to see yeah. where the series actually goes, because yeah, <laughs> new developments since 2008. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to see what Vic Vicarious Visions and Toys for Bob do with just what what they come up with when the when the hats in the <laughs> ring. I guess like just just full creative liberty. Just do whatever you want. I'm still of the opinion that I'm still of the opinion that Spyro actually has a, maybe an easier out than Crash in some respects. Mm. Enter Dragonfly is so short and actually just build off of that as a start. I guess. Oh, what, about, <laughs> what about Hero's Tale? That too, if you want. But I'm actually you need to actually just go back to the old continuity and just don't really retcon anything it's just mm. just go back yeah like um what was it i didn't even know Her hero's tale existed until much later because like no one like until like jerry pretty much like no one talked about it near me so i honestly thought it was uh just the original trilogy enter the dragonfly then just legend of spyro like i had no idea hero's tale was a thing <laughs> and that's obscure think about <clears throat> 
Try learning about a sequel to Heroes Tale on DS. Yeah, I'd imagine that would be pretty obscure. To a year about. before Legend of Spyro, they were still trying to finish that finish those plot elements before they wound up rebooting, anyways. That is pretty silly. I'm guessing the Maze Entertainment didn't get the memo, but yeah, that's actually that's actually really unfortunate, all things considered. Yeah. Classic series and Legend series both kind of ended on cliffhangers. I wonder why they decided to uh, change the story so much in the first place. Like, what came? What made Legend of Spyro even come about? Like, uh, really off base. I think a hero. I think Hero Tale underperformed a bit. Mm, so just, they, hmm. and I'm guessing. Vivendi, Universal, maybe saw the dwindling market for 3D platformers and decided to go for a more action-oriented approach. Mm. It's just interesting how they decided to just scrap the whole original trilogy, though. Or the, the, the original storyline, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Yep, um... <sighs> so, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think... I don't think Universal people were always the best make, best decision makers. Mm, yeah. Crash survived. Beat survived. That Crash made it a decade plus without going for a full reboot is a mer is merciful in that case. Um, mm. not wanting any continuity rewrites if, if a new game does come out. Yeah, because uh, the the Titans games are still in the same continuity. They're more like soft reboots if anything. Gameplay got rebooted, but as far as we can tell, everyone, everything else stayed. Yeah. They do explain most of the changes that came about. Yeah, especially with Mind Over Mutant, where they reference, like, stuff like, I was in the first game, and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, it was good to see Brio, Dr. Brio again. Yeah. And, like, Nina kind of references uh twin sanity with the whole like madame amberley thing but i did I mean, theoretically you could theoretically you could just go go back to the old continuity for crash too just you mm. know like oh yeah crash is back at his old at the old island because i don't know they got bored <laughs> they got bored like, titans are on the other island they can visit anytime Mm. I just, uh, I just hope they make a new game or something. I I don't want I don't want the, both of these series to get stagnated or just be <laughs> stuck stuck in <laughs> be stuck in like hell where they never get a new game. But I don't <clears> know. <throat> we'll see what happens. I'm uh, speaking of reboots. Um, I'm not sure if Soul Calibur Six is gonna. I'm not sure if Soul Calibur Six did well enough to justify a sequel. Oh, that sucks. And they rebooted too, so they tossed out the pretty much twenty years of continuity, and I'm not sure if it's gonna pay off. <laughs> so, uh, ending words. Um, knows me is best girl. Um. Oops. Ending words, Smash Bros. Ultimate is coming out in less than a month, and we should all be happy. Yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I just need a drink. So, um, yes, so, uh, I'm gonna be, uh, next, not this Saturday, the Saturday after, um, I'm starting Love Live with uh, Joey and one of my friends. They are not going to be watching this, but is there any, like, words of wisdom before that happens? What now? Uh, what did you hear me say? <laughs> I, heard I heard everything up till words of wisdom. Uh, do you have any words of wisdom to, um... Oh, oh, um... Keep an open mind. Uh, don't say for them they should keep an open mind um their advanced warning about Nozomi <laughs> uh, and 
and I guess that's it, really. How did you find it when you first, like, got in? Um, what was my first, what were my initial thoughts? <laughs> when to drive me to madness. <laughs> <laughs> Good show, I just... It took a while. Well, have you enjoyed it? How how much they, how much would you did you would you say you enjoyed it? Can't give ratings to shows honestly. It's mm. it's never been like never been my strong suit. Fair. A better ending than most of the anime I watch. So. <laughs> I felt things. So it does have a. It has a really. It has a strong ending. I think. She cared by the end. That's. Yeah. It's fair deal of anime. Yeah. Yeah, man. Better than Sword Art Online. That's Scrappy Fan Nine Two's long recommendation. <laughs> well, it's hard not to be better than that. <laughs> Alright, okay, I'm stopping the recording, so whoever, thanks for whoever watched this stupid late night ramble, bye. Nico, Nico, Oh gosh. <laughs>